Definitely is. It's game number five. Let's get to it here for PCS5 as we're in the grand finals. Our 16 teams vying for those top spots, vying for those points. Sims and Froz, take it away. Thank you so much, James. Yes, indeed. Map number five is underway. We've got one more to go after this, and then our first day of our first weekend is all said and done. This time we go more towards the northern side of the map, straight from the east side to the west side, Froz as like previous, but the circle most likely in a different place altogether. You know what? We got ourselves a milled circle in the last game. What if we get ourselves a stalled circle on this one? Wouldn't that be nice? Zaki, go on. Just to, no. just to make it a little bit rough for Zaki, the players, you know? come on. Can't Zaki, uh, yeah, we could we could do that as well. We could All the way up in the fields, you know, just cause everyone a load of grief. Really... Really throw it home and really throw a spanner in the works here for a, for a, <laughs> for a grand finals event, you know? <laughs> Why make it easy, right? There's too much money and too much to be on the line for them. Hey, make it hard now. It's a good testament on the teams, how good they actually are here. And we saw, of course, Heroic winning that last game, not just taking their first chicken dinner, but also taking first overall spot at the moment. Of course, we only play ourselves four games so far out of the total of 36 games. So still a lot of games. A lot of chicken dinners for everyone to grab. And so far, four different winners. They're bringing back from the dead. VP. Um, their position for us to get to Rossock, that, that's going to be quite brutal, to uh, have a better word, to be honest, if they have to cross that field because they've got Biz and Navi to the oh. left-hand side. Liquid is Mullard on arrival, but Clib is there to try and stabilize. Yeah. He gets a response. They, they lose one. Ibi potential for revive here. Smokes are down, but Jeems has fallen. Yeah, this is why also, of course, with drive-by meta, playing from that dip, sure, you can play it, but if people come in there, you want to be able to jump into those vehicles quickly so you don't get run over either. But look at this, now it's time for not versus the face down here. It... Oh, now we had a 2-2 two -two split. Into it. Yeah, they've, they've got to go for it, and you can see from example what it means just in his face as he kicks his head back kicking yourself at that point a 2-2 it's um it's viable i think for from this position that you're in to play off the back of it you've got the radio tower then you've got this ditch you're keeping control you're giving yourself an arm's reach into the next circle because you know it's going to centralize you know it's going to be pulling away from water slowly to boom also get involved in one as well now all of a sudden heroic with the bombardment phase clan if they get one of those nades front and center they are dead the they're worming their way up the hill and that's totally fine Ooh. this gives them a Lesser chance to be killed by the frags, but honestly, it feels like the damage is done. Here comes Beamy to try and put the nail in the coffin. One of them. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. T-Bone has his scalp removed. But thankfully for them, there's only one left standing. Make that non-phase clan is demolished on the hillside. And trying to make their way into Rossock as well. But there's already too many people living inside Rossock. It's not going to work out. Especially if they've got a bolt action amongst them. Get involved and maybe try and play spoiler. Oh, that is a very, very close grenade. Different angle, different fight. And then Rossock ends. Their fate is sealed. Veneer just trying to do whatever he can. Drag these vehicles through with how much damage. But there is... Chaos within Raw Sock as they try and work their way through these buildings are hot. And conflicts are well and truly in abundance. Gal will be up on the hill, still watching and lurking. Yeah, a little bit of a and a zealous nade earlier on from TM. It almost, almost cost VP their lives. It was close, but the best they can do now is throw smokes their way. Smoke them off, deny them vision, and maybe tackle them head on. But with how much damage has already been Here done, we, we have to say this nade solidifies their fate. It at least finishes off something that they previously started. You Thank go. you, good night, and bye-bye. Now, VP can focus inside the circle instead. They have a few people in the dips in front of them. They have a big open field in front of them as well, but it looks like they still have some vehicles to work with. Try and make quick work of Liquid, get rid of them, and it also gives them another point of contact they can enter the circle on, because they are outside of it. Nades oh. will start to rain <laughs> from hell. Bounces off the vehicle, saves Mexi. The next one might not be so good, but are they pushing them? Wait a minute. That could be interesting. Liquid's pushing up the hill. Gal will have no idea. No idea that someone's taking an advancement on them. 
I may let him get away with murder here, so we'll have to keep track of that one. Heroic still, just firing on all cylinders, peppering every single angle they can find. BP, you can see the smoke's already been pre-laid out in front of them. Oh. And this this is it's kind of dangerous now. This is very, very dangerous for Heroic. They have this presence. They have this side in control of the map. Now they have Europe's best team directly behind them, Frawls. It, it certainly adds a level of pressure that you really wanted to contain earlier. Yeah. Uh, they basically could just focus on them, though. But the thing is that it's a little bit of a slopey way down towards VP, so they're pretty safe. Whoa. Was that a distraction? I, I don't know. I I do not know, but... Clib is uh, <laughs> clinging on for dear life. A random stray bullet just found him as well. It's causing him all kinds of problems. Nade's gone down, flashbangs up, but he's been found. Galacticos will continue onwards. Page now making an advancement. This is good from Heroic. I wanted to see signs oh. of life, and this is exactly it. You did not want VP bearing down upon you. You did not want VP in your backyard causing you problems. For Heroic, this is a chance to seal themselves a second game back to back. This this is, you, you called it, that they always appear to be in the top four, and well, the six teams alive, and honestly, with the amount of land they have, this could be another top four finish yet again for Heroic. The kills are well and truly with them. The presence is with them. Big but fun. the same can be said for DA. The same could be said for VP. Meanwhile, Quetpa, x Lyron, they're taking in a new spot inside a circle. Nav is still in the center of the new circle as well. Here we go. Fenelos going down to the boom. That's not what we want to see, but at the same time, you can see this fight is blooming out now. Galacticos is trying to move up on this. Sean finds one. Salak is going to go down to the zone. The boom is down to one HP as well. It's a rough air for Salak. Try to get inside. But basically, DA needs to expose himself as well if they want to get in. Doing whatever they can. Navi. Quizzy goes down, comes down to Alia to try and hold the line. The center map as well, so it's not exactly a bad position. VP repositioning away from Heroic. Heroic has stood its ground and actually fluffed its chest. That will force VP back, but they're still dangerous. Oh, they're still in abundance. Beamy beams the living bats of hell out of two players. Daboom and Zoom go down, and Exhalation is dead. That man is sick when it comes to shot. But D oh my word, DA, the punishment, the damage. This was a team we were hoping that we'd see maybe in the top two, but my word, they have gone. Navi somehow holds on for dear life, but it's only by one player. Galacticos have just caused a barn burner of an issue. Oh, Correxi. The heroic now want to punish them. Correxi has gone to the top of the hill for us, That's and he is name. a mad little man. Page also stepping up. Heroic look unstoppable. Again, Heroic with so much pressure, so much control towards the end game. Just playing it like they love to play it. Correxi does go down though. They gotta be careful on this one. Because VP, look at this. They've seen what's going on and they're pulling up here on the western side all the way from the east and they drove past everybody and they're taking this fight against Heroic and Nibor is getting Correxi back up on his feet. But look at this. They're peeking over, they're getting them one by one, they're just picking them apart, and Heroic is out on full place. That is staggering. From a team that we've been bigging up and kind of saying, you know, they're going to do amazing things. Look at Spyro. The accuracy of this man to go, rather than go for the frigging player, he goes for the wheels, Frawls, mm -hmm. and he hits them. That just... It, I, I don't know how you can have that level of accuracy and control and just lay waste to the wheels on purpose to slow him down, let your teammates pick it up. That is just beyond incredible. Like, the man's aim is ridiculous. The, like, the skill level and skill ceiling that some of these players and individuals have is mind-blowing to me. It truly, truly is. Let's talk about this, though. Three versus four. A bit Ooh. of a weird and wonderful approach coming out from Honor. And he may have completely wrecked this for his teammates. Then the loss has also gone... It's down to a four versus one, and the team that was standing strong at the start of today, straight off of the back, they got a win, and now here comes the bombardment. We're looking for the second, and there it is. 
MVP. They came into this competition as best in Europe. And on day number one, Froz, they still look standing strong to that testament.